Hello friends, I am Pranjal Lard and today I am going to give you an introduction on the fragmentation of the database in DBMS. So what is fragmentation? Basically, fragmentation is the task of dividing a table into a set of smaller tables. The subset of the tables are called fragments. Fragments can be of three types, horizontal, vertical and hybrid. Fragmentation should be done in a way so that the original table can be reconstructed from the fragments whenever required. This requirement is called reconstructiveness. This means the original table can be formed by combining the fragments. The fragmentation has some advantages and disadvantages. Now we will discuss about some advantages of the fragmentation. The first advantage is efficiency of the database system is increased. The second advantage is the local query optimization techniques are sufficient for most queries since data is locally available. The third and the most important advantage of the fragmentation is since irrelevant data is not available at the sites, security and privacy of the database system can be maintained. Now we will talk about some disadvantages of the fragmentation. The first disadvantage is when data from different fragments are required. The access speed may be very high. Second, in case of recursive fragmentations, the job of reconstruction will need expensive techniques. The third and the biggest disadvantage of the fragmentation is the lack of backup copies of data in different sites may render the database ineffective in case of failure of a site. Now, in the given example table, the table has two types of fragmentations. In the first type, the table has three fragments. One is vertical and two are horizontal fragments. While in the second type, there are two vertical fragments and one horizontal fragment. Both are the examples of hybrid fragmentation. It means they both have vertical and horizontal fragments. As you can see in both the examples, the fragmentation is done in such a way that all the fragments can be combined together to form the initial table.